So we got this intercooler set back up here, ready to go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make these two welds on these uh, V-bands. Um, the way I do this is I have a V-band clamp cut down on the back side. And I got a just a piece I've made here to purge with, with a female V-band welded to it. And this is a stainless one, so they don't warp as bad normally. You know, it's a little bit tougher to use to keep something straight. So I clamp that on there. We'll do about three quarters of this weld is about all we can get before we have to rotate this. I'll let this cool down. Um, we'll turn this and then we'll do the rest of it. We're gonna do both of them. And then we have some two inch angle iron here that we're gonna stitch on here for him to mount it in the truck. So we're gonna get this all set up to go. Um, I've wiped these down with acetone. They're not gonna weld good. I mean, this is dirty cast like I showed in the last video. With, we got pretty big gaps through here. Um, we're just gonna take our time here and try to get this sealed up nice as we can um, and go from there. It's welding dirty like I figured, but we're gonna have that on this. That's about as far as I can get. You can see where the clamp is. It steps down there. Um, so we're gonna let that cool down so that doesn't warp. We're gonna go ahead and get these angles tacked on here now while that's cooling. We're just gonna put one weld here in the center on both sides. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn this frequency down. I had it up pretty high for doing that V-band.
Oh, they just weld so dirty when they're that old, that junk casting like that, but it is what it is. Um, we're going to let that one cool down. We'll jump over and do this other one real quick. So while we're waiting on that to cool there, 
I'm going to go over my welder settings with you guys. Um, everything is about the same as I always do. I messed around here. I sharpened the tungsten, got a real nice small ball on it. Number six cup, like I always run. Um, about 22 CFH. Um, I ran the balance on this a little bit higher. I ran like a 33% balance on the prime weld machine. And, and on these, you know, this being a cast, it's dirty. I cleaned it as good as I can, but there, you know, it just fights you the whole time. You guys that weld aluminum, you know that. Um, ended up running 185 amps on these V-bands. I'm not using it all. I'm kind of working the pedal there a little bit, but uh, the frequency, what, what I ended up at was 165. I don't know what it is about the prime weld machine, but it seems like 150 to 165 is like its sweet spot on the frequency on stuff like this. Seems like you just get a really nice arc. Um, I don't know why that is. Something else I wanted to touch on in this video is I've, I've had, I used to use an Everlast machine. Um, arc starts were never real good on it. And, you know, this prime weld machine, as you guys can tell in the videos, it starts so good. Um, it's just, I mean, you hit the pedal and you're welding. There's, there's no hesitation, there's no fluttering. I mean, it just goes. Um, and I had a couple people ask me about torches and whatnot. And for years now, CK has been extremely good to me. Um, I've tried to, I, kind of, you know, I don't do a lot with CK uh, as the company. They've sent me some stuff to try and whatnot, and we've used their products at work for years. But this is the, just a CK um, 230FX flex head. So the 230 is just a little bit bigger than the 20 but it uses the same consumables as a 20. So your head, I, I believe your head length here is a little bit longer and the handle's a little bit bigger, but pretty sure this, this torch is rated for like 300 amps. I could be wrong, but pretty sure it's close to that. But this is a flex head and I mean, I don't think it gets any better than their stuff. So I wanted to give them a shout out because they've always been great to me. And you know, for as much as I've used this torch running it, you know, 300 amp. When we welded these angles, we were running 300 amps at 60 hertz on them, and they didn't weld real good. I probably should have turned the helium tank on a little bit. It would have helped. But, I mean, the, the torch with the cooler, you get no heat in this torch at all. I mean, I just got done welding, and you can see, like, it, it's not hot at all. So, CK, uh, definitely a big thumbs up to them. Um, we're going to go ahead and let this cool down finish up this last bit here. I'm going to turn the camera off just to finish it up. But uh, that's going to wrap this video up today. Everybody have a great weekend and like and subscribe.